Good morning. This is Debbie Arnold with Dining at Debbie, and uh, thank you for being here today. Today we're going to be making up some uh, baked delicata squash or candied delicata squash. Uh, not so heavily candied like uh, those sweet potatoes that you often see at Thanksgiving. But these are a nice substitute for sweet potatoes, uh, acorn squash, butternut squash. Uh, what's really nice about these is that, um, well, first of all, these were grown in our garden, so that's really nice. Uh, and they have a nice tender skin, so you don't have to peel them. Uh, so what I did was, I, and this is about the size that they come, maybe a little larger, maybe a little smaller, but uh, this is a perfect size for us. And so I took the delicata squash, trimmed the stem off, cut it in half. It does take a little effort to cut it in half, but not anything like a butternut or even a Hubbard squash. I took that and then I scraped out the seeds. And if you have a garden, um, you, and if you know these were grown organically, which mine were, but if you know that they were grown organically, then you can scrape those seeds out, clean them off, and save them to plant in your garden for next year. Uh, they should come back true to form if they're organic. Um, the delicata squash is easily found in most uh, supermarkets. Uh, I don't know that I've seen them in Walmart, but you might ask. Um, certainly our uh, Trader Joe's in Little Rock has them, Whole Foods has them, uh, and they're usually pretty cheap, maybe a dollar a piece or something like that. Anyway, so I'm gonna put these uh, on a sheet pan just like this and um, I'm going to put them in a 350 degree oven and let them bake for about uh, between 20 and 30 minutes. I'll check them and see um, if they're getting tender. Once they start getting tender, then I'll bring them back out and finish them off with some uh, dark brown sugar and butter and probably some cinnamon or cardamom I'll put on there. All right, I'm gonna put these in the oven. I'm gonna cover them up and uh, let them bake and I'll bring them back out and we'll finish them off. Okay, I'm getting ready to take our delicata squash out of the oven and add the butter and sugar and spices to those to finish them up. They're nice and tender and ready to uh, come out. Show you how pretty they look and I'll move them over here where you can see them. Um, this is certainly a generous serving for two people. Uh, I like to roast delicata squash too if you um, are into roasted vegetables like uh, Brussels sprouts and broccoli etc. You just slice them up and add uh, slice up the delicata squash and add them to your other roasted vegetables and I think you'll really, really enjoy them. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take um, some butter that I have, I meant to soften up, but I have actually melted and that's okay too. I'm going to add to that just a little brown sugar and I'm using dark brown sugar just because I'll happen to like the flavor of the extra molasses that's in there. Probably about a fourth of a cup. Stir that in there well. And um, I decided since it's pumpkin season and these are squashes, you know, they're all kind of cousins together, that I'm gonna add in some pumpkin pie uh, spice. I'll do that, I'll sprinkle that on after I have added on uh, the butter to the delicata squash. Uh, these are not completely done yet, but they will be. Uh, I'll put them back in the oven here for about 20 minutes and let them finish after I have poured in our sugar and our butter and all these are so good. You can do the same thing with um, acorn squash, pumpkin, um, you know, just about anything. Uh, have a little bit more here than I really needed, but that's okay too. It'll just blow out in the pan. It'll be fine. All right, so I'm going to sprinkle those with some pumpkin pie spice. That's our homemade pumpkin pie spice that we made up. I'll recover them, put them back in the oven, and let them cook about another. Oh, 15 to 20 minutes, then take the cover off to let them brown, and they'll be good to go, and we'll have them for our lunch today. Uh, I hope you enjoy uh, some candied delicata squash. If you've not tried it before, it's a great time to add it to your 
uh, dinner menu. Um, I think you'll find it uh, easy to prepare, certainly. And like I said, you can eat the skin so you don't have to mess with put, uh, peeling it or anything like that. It's a little bit sweet, but not nearly as sweet as sweet potatoes or anything like that. So anyway, give it a try. It's easily prepared, just as I've told you how to do it today. If you have any questions, just um, let me know, and I'll be glad to help you. Um, and I hope you get to get outside and enjoy some of this beautiful fall weather that we're having. Thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate it.